Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Today we are going to make a really fun interactive card with the new Cuckoo for You bundle. I love this bundle because it really has so many options. It's going to be awesome for the holidays. You can see the reindeer there and the little squirrel for fall and the little bunny for spring. But today I thought I would use a couple of my bugs from a few weeks back that I colored. Um, and create a fun card with those. So here's how you do this. You have to stamp the image, cut out the house or the clock, and then you line up that die that I just put on there with the two hearts that are at the top and the bottom and you cut that. Once you do that, it gives you this little slit where you can see that little hole there where the mechanism is gonna go through. So what I've done is I've pre-stamped and cut everything so that it would kind of speed this video up a little because you don't really need to watch me run stuff through a die cutting machine um, to know it got die cut, right? So I'm gonna, this is kind of a lessons learned card because I kind of honestly did it for the first time on video with you. But I was running out of time to make a whole bunch of videos for you guys while I was away on vacation and so, yeah, I just went with it. I went for it. So on this piece, you need to fold that part in half, glue it down. And I just put a clear block on top to kind of solidify it and let it set up. And then you're going to want to color all your pieces before you do what I'm about to do. So I went and I glued down the little hands from the clock, which I die cut from basic black cardstock. And I should not have done that. That was really stupid. I should have colored the clock first. But again, I mean, when you are creating a whole bunch of videos at one time and it's busy, 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 it is hard sometimes to think all the pieces through. And so I'm just excited that I was able to get so many videos done for you guys before I went on my trip because that meant that you would still have awesome videos to watch while I was gone. And that made me really, really happy. So they're not perfect, but you know what? Sometimes done is better than perfect, right? I mean, you just sometimes ha gotta roll with it and do what you can do. So Poppy Parade ink, I'm using uh, my alcohol marker to color all the different little pieces um, that I want to be in Poppy Parade. I did not do a crazy amount of ink blending or coloring with this stuff. I just kind of, you know, did different little areas and different colors and I left a large portion of the little clock white. Um, there are, I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless as to how you color this in. Um, so you could just do it based on whatever your need is. Off to the right hand side, you can see some DSP there. That is from Perennial Essence, that green, and the um, wood grain underneath it is from pr uh, the Pretty pe Pressed Petals, Pressed Petals? No, it's just Pressed Petals, designer paper. The Pressed Petals DSP is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and the um, Perennial Essence designer paper is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just continuing, now I'm using Granny Apple Green to color in my clock. And I realize I probably should have zoomed in for you um, just because this little clock is so detailed, it's kind of hard to see what I'm coloring, but you'll definitely be able to see it better when it's all done. So I'm using Crumb Cake here to just kind of outline a few things and color in some pieces of the uh, clock and then I'm going to use the dark crumb cake to kind of go in and create like a shadow and it really ends up looking really cute. I love how it came out. Then I decided I would use the bugs from the wiggle worm stamp set to add to this clock. This clock has a lot of really cute elements that come with it so honestly you don't really need to use anything different than what comes with it except that the pieces that come with it, um, all the little animals, are kind of representative of a certain time of year. And obviously it's the middle of summer. So none of these little critters would really work for me. And I thought bugs would be perfect. And it would be a great way for me to use up those die cuts that I had already colored and cut. 
And so I picked my paper that I'm layering on the card based on my bugs, actually. And I also chose the colors. I was coloring my clock based on my bugs. Um, I wanted everything to coordinate and come together in the end. So I knew that I needed to kind of um, basically figure it all out is what it comes down to. And so I'm coloring this part so saffron. I thought a little bit of yellow on this would make it really pop and it did. I was right. I love the so saffron and how it kind of pulled everything together on that little clock. And then I needed to do some more stamping. I needed to stamp the little birdie so that when the um, door mechanism comes down, it would reveal the little bird inside. And I don't know why, but I colored him all yellow. I mean, red. And I wish I would have colored him yellow. Um, this would be a great color for the bird if he was a cardinal for Christmas time. Okay, so here you need to watch this part. We are going to first flip this over upside down and stamp the sentiment on it. You want to stamp the sentiment upside down so that when it opens, it is read correctly. The second piece to this is you are going to weave this piece through the bottom. And then at the top, I realized those two little flappy pieces need to be folded in and then tucked through the hole. So I folded them back onto themselves, pinched them down, pushed them through this little slit, and then that becomes the locking mechanism that allow that makes it so that this won't just pull out. So you push up and the little um, door comes down. But then you have to add the door to the front. So I had already die cut the door and I'm using crumb cake ink crumb cake ink, crumb cake stamp and blends to color the door, darker on the bottom, lighter on the top, just to create a little bit of interest and in shading. And then you have to glue this little door piece to the top of your little mechanism that opens and closes. So um, lots of options here. You could color this door, obviously any color you wanted to. I have some fun ideas for Christmas time, making a card using this. I think it would be really, really cute. Um, but I just wanted to make sure it was on there really straight, added the little door piece, and I was done with that part. Um, the one thing I will say is when you use this little guy, you probably want to make sure that you pop it up on dimensionals when you put it onto a card base. I would not recommend leaving it um, flat because I would worry that the mechanism wouldn't work correctly. So if you notice the bottom of the little handle there is stamped and it's got an arrow pointing up. I did that earlier. That lets the person receiving the card know that they need to push up in order to uh, open that. So when you use the glue to put this piece on, you'll have to let it set up. Um, I chose to just use Tombow Mono Adhesive. It's a really strong adhesive once it dries. Notice I say once it dries. Um, okay, we're going to add these pieces really quick. So we've got the pressed petals, which is gorgeous. Love this paper. Love the wood grain background. And then we've got Perennial Essence, which has this really fabulous green background. And I thought that would look really cute. So my thought was, I was, I was thinking like this clock is like in a tree or you know, somewhere in this really cool little bug place. And I was really thinking the movie A Bug's Life when I was making this card. Or there used to be this cartoon when my little girl was small, and I don't know if it's still a cartoon that's on. But when Macy was little, she used to watch this cartoon called um, Mrs. Sunny, wait, Mrs. Spider Sunny Patch, I think. Mrs. Spider Sunny Patch. And it had the most adorable bugs ever. And I loved that cartoon. <laughs> like, you know, most cartoons, you're like, oh my gosh, I really, you've had it with them. You don't want to watch them anymore. Like, that's how I feel about SpongeBob. I would rather poke my eye with a sharp object than watch SpongeBob SquarePants. But Mrs. Spider Sunny Patch, so stinking cute. 
So these little bugs kind of reminded me of that and they always had like cool little stuff in the sunny patch. Okay, so these are the little pieces that need to go on the clock. You could leave them off, you can add them, whichever you'd rather. Frankly, I couldn't decide if they looked like some sort of inappropriate part hanging down off this thing. I don't know. I, I ended up going ahead and adding them but I'll be honest with you, I was really torn on if they looked better or worse by adding them to the card. I did not add a sentiment to the card, which I was, again, really torn on if I wanted to add a sentiment or not, because I what I did not want is to add a sentiment and then not be able to use this card. So the inside of the little door says, hello, you. And I felt like that's good enough. I could use it lots of different ways just by having the hello you in there. And so I decided to leave it. So there's the bottom of the clock. <laughs> I'll let you decide what you think about the situation. But that's what it ended up looking like. And um, it's cute, I guess. I just need to get my mind out of the gutter, apparently. The bugs are the best. I love the bugs. And this is the stamp set, again, Cuckoo for You. And I was looking at the sentiments, trying to decide if I wanted to add one. And I just never did. I decided I would, oh, and see, I pulled that off because I was messing with it way too soon. But I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to keep opening and closing that little flap because <laughs> it was making me so happy. Um, yeah, so that's the card. If you want to buy this bundle, I would love it if you purchased it from me. You can purchase it in my store at shoploveandstampin.com. Click on either one of these videos to watch them. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you visit me again real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.